But check your pudding snacks before you eat them, or you will be devouring penicillin, and not in the way that you want to. Ah, that's the pudding story. Yes, uh, questions? Uh, yeah, right here. Yeah, Vic did get like, was it Vic or Laura? It was Vic. Got hair. Yeah, somebody took like a piece of notebook paper and folded up some hair and gave it to him. That's awesome. I know that's definitely coming back home with me. Because I want to explain that at security. Sir, why do you have a hair and notebook paper? I'm just that kind of guy. Uh, strangest thing I've ever been given. I don't know. I know the strangest thing I've ever had to sign, which was a, a, a bright and shiny new saxophone, right? Really nice looking, really polished. I'm like, wow, you really want me to sign your saxophone? He's like, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, it's not mine. <laughs> wow. Well, who, whose is it? My schools. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> What's that? That wasn't a that wasn't a gift. That was a molesting. <laughs> like the first the first con I ever went to in you know two thousand and four or five was Anime Detour in Minneapolis. And in the green room one night with Kyle Laybear, I descended upon a game of Magic the Gathering, which I know nothing about. Who are you? So I was standing over the shoulders of these guys who were clearly intimidated by the large creature who had just entered and started observing their game. I was like, wow, your Spear of Alizar. Throw that down. <laughs> So we sit down and I'm watching the game and all of a sudden So we sit down and I'm watching the game and all of a sudden out of the corner of my eye off of, you know, over here come these pair of jean clad legs. Kinda of out of my periphery. And you know, we had had a little bit to drink with dinner. So my reaction time was a little slow. It was kinda of one of those like and this girl just jumps up, lands on my lap, grabs my face, and starts kissing me. No, I mean, but it was like, she was like, wow. So she like licked my nose, and then, yeah, very strange. So I bench pressed her onto the table. And at the detour, they have three colored badges, you know, blue for staff and guests. Orange for, you know, 18 and up, and everybody else got yellow. <laughs> oh, yellow badge. Wow. How old are you? <laughs> like 16. <laughs> I'm gonna go get arrested now. <laughs> See you later. See you Monday. But I'm out of jail. Thank you. <laughs> Ninja. Yes, yellow shirt. jump from where you are onto my lap, then yes. But if you can, let me know first, because I want to make sure I get video of that, because that will be awesome. Just send you a copy. You can start your own mutant academy. I will follow you anywhere if you can do that. But check this chick out. Hey, do the jumping thing. Awesome, right? What happened when I first met Vic? I think I shook his hand and said, hi, I'm Travis. And you'll never believe what he said. Hi, I'm Vic. I know, I know that's not the crazy answer you wanted, but it's the truth. Lie to you. Right, so when I first met Vic, the thunder clouds were rolling in, and just then the T-Rex came to the tree and I slayed it with my fists. And I said, Vic, this is gonna be you, brother! And with a great cry, he rose.
arms and his blonde hair shot out in all directions. And he turned into Broly. <laughs> and his muscles started rippling really big. And I was like, your boobs are bigger than mine now. <laughs> and then in stereo, the duel of the fates from Star Wars started playing. <laughs> And then we had tea. <laughs> that was what happened when I first met Jake. <laughs> My life is a lie. <laughs> okay. Yes, right here. Oh, right. Yes, Investigator Harris. They're talking about this uh, web show that I'm in called The Cleanup Crew. <laughs> Which, if you haven't seen, go check it out. It's on funnierdie.com. It's called The Cleanup Crew, and it's about... Have you heard of these biological teams that when there is a murder or a suicide or something that involves bodily, nasty fluids after a crime, you have to clean that up somehow? This is a biological team that goes in and, like, cleans up crime scenes. It's pretty gross. It's even weirder when you have a bunch of idiots doing it. <laughs> Well, I'm not a part of the idiot team, but I am the, uh, the local CSI head investigator. And I am a total dumbass. <laughs> but I get to wear suits and rip my sunglasses off a lot, and that's awesome. <laughs> Basically, it's me making fun of CSI Miami as much as I can. <laughs> Check it out, it's really, it's really funny. How did that come about? What's that? Uh, violence, sex. Sex sells on TV. Um, okay. Yes, over here. Oh, you're wearing a hood. You are scary. How did you feel when you found out that Roy Mustang came in at the end of Conquerors of Shambhala and saved the day? How did I feel? Awesome. <laughs> Not surprised. I was like, just wait. The stang is coming. <laughs> Walking in, snap, boom, you're dead. <laughs> snap, oh, there goes your face. <laughs> snap, oh, you don't have a body anymore. <laughs> no surprise to me. That's what I thought. And he always gets cool music when he walks. Yeah. When I'm alone at night, sometimes I'll walk down a street lamp filled street and Wish that there was cool, badass music playing when I was walking. <laughs> but it never happens. <laughs> Dude, yeah, if actually one of you guys has a boombox and wants to follow me, that would be awesome. <laughs> but you gotta be covert. You gotta be dressed like a bush. <laughs> so if somebody comes around, you just sit down as a bush. And I'll just walk to awesome. for doing this. Is that you or you? You're good. Uh, quick trigger finger, my friend. Yes. I don't mean the guy that just snaps and blows everything up. That's kind of hard to beat. I mean, I mean, Porcus the Ace does just kind of call up fire in a massive way, so I think it would kind of, ooh, Mustang versus Ace. <laughs> Iggy? Who? Yeah, he's a robot. No, I think he would just melt. No, he's not the Terminator, he likes shoes. <laughs> He's a little flamboyant, so I think he would probably lose very quickly. He's like the Terminator on Troll Together! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Ooh, Roy Mustang or Iron Man? Iron Man. I think Iron Man. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, he's made of like that gold titanium alloy suit. I mean, Roy Mustang. Yeah, I am Iron Man. 
I got a fancy suit too, buddy. But you have a cool goatee and a billion.